Yo, what's going on YouTube? Just taking and welcome back to my channel for another GTA 5 video. And in today's video, we're going to be customizing and reviewing the Dinka Blister Kanjo, which was released kind of with the new Casino Heist DLC. And I say kind of because it is part of that DLC, but it has been held back and it's going to be released as drip feed. But this bad boy looks awesome. When I first saw the picture of this before um, the DLC dropped, I was so excited about getting my hands on this. And we've got an old school Honda Civic EK2 in the game, slash EK3 maybe, but it is awesome, man. And I'm so happy that it has been released into the game. It was about time that we actually got some old school hatchbacks in this motherfucking game because um, with this update, we have had the Asbo. We've now had um, the Kanjo. Obviously, we've had a Corsa now and a Civic. And that, that's just fucking a great time to be alive. <laughs> um, but we're going to crack on with this build. As always, we're going to start with 100% body armor. Then we're going to go to the brakes. We're going to get the race brakes for the bumper, front bumper. And for the front bumper, we've got loads of options, man. We've got the half primary splitter, the full primary splitter, the sticker bomb. Oh, man, that's a cool looking sticker bomb. That is so much nicer than all the other sticker bombs that we've got on, the, on any other vehicle in the game. It, it looks like... They've obviously used different textures and um, different images. It looks awesome, man. Uh, we've got the street bumper, track bumper, uh, street bumper with canards, the lightened bumper. Oh, okay, so we've got drilled holes in the bumper. And we've got one with a huge splitter. And, oh, a race day bumper. So, again, with the little holes with a massive fucking spoiler or splitter, should I say. The extreme aero bumper. Oh, my days. The time attack bumper. That is huge, man. What is going on with that bumper? Oh, my God. That is insanity. And then we've got the stock again. That is unbelievable. What the fuck is going on there? It's definitely not going to happen for me. Not not one of these bad boys. Uh-uh. Not, not my sort of thing. Um, my favorite was, I think, the sticker bomb, mate, to be honest. I, something, just something drawing me to it. Um, I do like sticker bomb in real life, uh, you know, within reason. And I never really liked it in GTA. But with this one, they've, like I said, they use different images. It looks like a completely different sort of sticker bomb texture that they've used to previous vehicles in the game. And I'm actually really drawn to it. So I think I'm going to go for it. Be a little bit different as well. Then we've got the rear bumper. So we've got the primary trim. Okay, yeah, that's pretty cool. That's better than the stock one because obviously, as you can see, it's a little bit lighter than the actual body of the car. And then we've got the subway ring. Then the same, but with primary, a sticker bomb. I wonder how much sticker bomb we can do to this, man. Can we sticker bomb the whole damn thing? <laughs> we'll, we'll soon find out. Then we've got the light and bumper. I actually really, really like that. That's, that's pretty sweet, man. Especially if you can get some meaty exhausts on the back of there. I like how it's kind of been cut in half and it looks a little bit higher. That's... That's my sort of uh, rear bumper. Then we've got that with, with a huge diffuser. Same again with a massive diffuser. And again, and we can remove a big chunk of the the, se the middle section of that bumper if you can just about see it. Um, because obviously the car's black and the background is black also. But you do get a massive diffuser with it. But then it looks like a massive chunk of the bumper's been cut out. Looks pretty cool. Uh, again, the same but with a bigger diffuser, the time attack. Oh my days, and then you take the bump away altogether. But you still got a huge diffuser. That one kind of looks a little bit strange to me. Not a fan of that one. And then the same again but with a bigger diffuser. And the same again but with an even bigger diffuser. Holy crap. Um, I actually really like the um, light and bumper. So, I'm gonna grab it i'm gonna go for it obviously we might change it later on in the video but for now i think that's the one for me then we've got doors so we've got wind deflectors cool cool that's uh, not very often we uh get wind deflectors on as an option on cars and then obviously you get the the track day modification of window nets we aren't going to be grabbing them today but we will uh shall we yeah we'll be getting the wind deflectors then we're going to go to the engine. We're going to get the level 4 engine upgrade. Then the exhaust. So this is the bit I'm excited about. Because of that lowered or cut in half bumper, we can see more of the exhaust. So hopefully we can get some really nice looking exhausts just to show off. And that one doesn't look too bad. But we want something a little bit bigger. 
These ones are sticking out a little bit further. Ah, this is this is what I'm talking about, the big ball. And then we've got a chrome big ball. Mm, don't want no blast pipes, no, no, no. We're going to go with a chrome big ball. That one looked pretty sweet. So next we've got the fenders. So we've got the sticker bomb fenders. And, oh man, you can stick bomb the rear. Oh shit, son. But that, but that rear one doesn't make sense because it doesn't fo follow a body line. See, if that followed a body line, it, 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 I'd understand. You know, if it was sort of like cut by the door, went under the window. And it, do you know what I mean? But here, it's, the rear part of that just looks really odd to me. I don't really understand what Rockstar were thinking when they done that. Just make it follow a body line. Like the front fender. That makes sense. The rear one just doesn't make any sense whatsoever. So I am going to get a sticker bomb, but it ain't going to be the one with the rear. Uh, that's pretty cool. You get the bolt on carbon. Bolt, or bolt on body kits as you go further down. Looks awesome, man. That actually looks really good. But I am going to go with a sticker bomb, like I said. So the next option we've got is the grill. The grill from standard actually looks quite nice. So we can remove the badge, which is pretty awesome. Get a big intercooler at the bottom. So you get the black Dinka intercooler. That one looks pretty cool, man. I like that. Then you get the same, but in white. That looks even better, man. Uh, the one with the water sprayer. And one with the fans. I actually really like that. The, the white Dinka logo on it. Something real different that we haven't really had in the game before. So I'm going to grab that bad boy. Then we've got the headlights. We're going to go... Oh, yellow tint. Holy shit, you can black the tint. So this is another nice option that we don't tend to get on many vehicles. And um, I'm really digging that. And I'm going to go with the yellow headlight glass. Then we're going to move on to the hood. So we get the hood bra. Uh, not a big fan of those, to be honest. And that kind of looks like... It's not very textured very well. It looks kind of weird. But anyway, we're going to move on. We've got the secondary color hood. Then we get the sticker bomb. We get the rusted hood. You know what? I think that rusted hood actually looks all right with the sticker bomb, man. But the sticker bomb looks cool. Then we've got rusted hood, uh, the carbon hood, the lifted primary. That doesn't look too bad. Doesn't look too shabby at all. Then we've got the lifted carbon, the street hood. Street carbon, performance hood, the performance carbon. Oh man, that race hood looks awesome. Love the look of that race hood. You got the big turbo, man. Shit, son. That's an insane mod to have. Not my cup of tea usually, but it does look awesome. But I actually really like this race hood, and I like it a lot better than the sticker bomb. And because I'm not getting the sticker bomb, or the rusted one. The rusted one actually looks quite good with a sticker bomb. But because I'm not getting that one or this one, I think it kind of looks a little bit strange having sticker bomb on the fenders and the bumper, but not the hood. So what I'm going to do, I am going to keep it on the fenders, but I'm going to go to the bumper and change that front bumper up. And to match the rear bumper, I'm going to go with the light end one. So then we're going to go to the lights. We're going to go headlights and purchase the Xeon headlights. And we are going to get our neon kit for this. We're going to go front, back, and sides. All the way around. Neon colour. Um, I'm feeling maybe a red. Should we get red? Yeah, man. Let's get red. So next we've got the liveries. I doubt I'm going to get a livery, to be fair, because usually they're not that great anyway. And because I've got that sticker bomb on the front, I don't think any sort of livery would actually... <laughs> That's an actual shopping list. Milk, apples, <laughs> drumsticks, jerky, donuts, muesli, tomatoes, yogurt, tuna, eggs. What the shit, man. <laughs> That's pure jokes. I actually, actually quite like that. Oh, man, you can rust it all up. That's pretty sweet. There's some actually real nice um, options for the liveries. That's a cool one, too. The Outlaw Racer. The Highway Hunter is good, too. Some real nice options. Uh, Midnight Champion. And I'm not really a fan of um, of liveries whatsoever. But some of these are real nice. But then we go to these ones. These are the ones I'm not really a fan of. You know, with the uh, look like they're from a touring championship. They're not my sort of thing. And that livery we've seen before. That is definitely off the Dinka Jester. Recognize that straight away. And we get a anime livery. Standard for a Jap car. Uh, but like I said, I don't think I'm going to get any. Um, I'm really tempted to get that though. Um, 
But I'm, nah, fuck it. I'm not gonna get any liveries, <laughs> even though there are some pretty cool ones in there. But I think the sticker bomb is enough for me. Then we're gonna go to the respray. We're gonna go primary color, and I'm gonna go classic, and I'm just gonna get white for primary and secondary. Well, I did get the white for the primary, but for the secondary, when I went to change it to the white, I noticed it is just the wing mirrors that it changes, and it also changes the um, the stitching on the inside there on the seats, and because. I think the wing mirrors look a little bit better black. I'm just going to stay black in the classic colour for the secondary. And another real thing has just pissed me off and I've just noticed. My wind deflectors have changed to white. Don't want them white. What the fuck is all that about? We want them black. So I'm really annoyed that they've changed. Um, the only way you could get around, around that is by buying the carbon ones. But then who the hell has carbon wind deflectors? It looks really weird. So I'm just going to go none for that. So then we do get an option of a roll cage. So we've got the street half cage, which is probably the one I'm going to go for because they are all my favourites. But then we get the half cage with the track seats. Aha, so that's even better. So then we're going to move on to the roof. We've got the secondary roof. We've got the sticker bomb, which is probably the one I'm going to go for because it actually looks really good. Then we've got the carbon and then we've got a roof box, roof rack, and we've got off tr off the track tyres. That actually, that's a pretty cool uh, addition, if I do say so, but not for me. Even though that secondary actually looks really good as well, the gloss black. It actually looks really nice. But because I have got a sticker bomb and we get a sticker bomb option, I'm going to go for that on the roof. Then we've got the side skirts. We've got the primary skirts, which looks good. Then we've got the secondary sticker bomb. Mm, not so much. See, that even though it's cool that you, you've got all these different options to sticker bomb, like literally the whole fucking car, um, the skirt looks weird. It don't suit it whatsoever, so we're definitely not going to get that. Then we've got the carbon, the race, uh, carbon race, and that's, that's just about it, really. Uh, my favourite was the primary skirts, so that's the one I'm going to go for. Then we're going to go to the spoiler. Loads of options for spoiler. We've got the primary OEM wing. Not a fan, really. Then we've got that in the secondary. Got it in the sticker bomb. Uh, again, not really a fan. Get that in the carbon. And then we've got a primary raised, secondary raised, primary flap. That actually looks quite cool, man. I like the look of that. Uh, we'll get the same in secondary. We get a street wing. Looks a little bit weird. Drift wing also looks a little bit strange. Yeah, all these sorts of spoilers on um, hatchbacks look weird. And that is just fucking ridiculous, man. Oh, my days. <laughs> yeah, we're definitely not getting one of those. Look at the state of them. Yeah, definitely not getting one of those. My favourite was... Uh, these ones, the primary flap. But we don't want to get it in secondary, we want to get it in the primary. Then we've got the sun strip. We get the primary or we get a secondary. Cool. That's uh, that's good enough for me. And I think the secondary sun strip looks the best, so I'm going to go with that. Then we've got the suspension. Obviously, competition suspension is going to slam it and give it camber. There's no doubt about it. And I was right. Look at that. But to be fair, guys, even though I don't really like this option all that much, because like I've said in previous videos, I think they should be two separate options. You should have one for suspension, like to slam it, and then the second for camber, like a camber setting. Um, but they don't give you that. They literally give you all or nothing. Uh, and on other vehicles, it, it kind of looks a little bit weird, like the retinue. This is what happened when you done the competition suspension on the Met retinue Mark II, and it really doesn't suit that vehicle. But on this sort of car, I think it kind of looks okay. So I'm going to go with competition suspension. Then we've got the transmission. We're going to get a race transmission. We've got the trunk option next. We've got the primary. Oh, I like the look of that. That looks loads better. That does. Primary, secondary, uh, sticker bomb, and the carbon. Definitely not going to get the sticker bomb again. I think we've got enough on there as it is. But I am definitely going to go with the, the primary color trunk, man. That looks fucking sweet. Turbo, we're obviously going to get the turbo tuning. The wheels, wheel type. We are going to go into the tuner category. And I'm going to get these outsider rims. I actually feel maybe a color change is in order on these on these uh, wheels. I do see we've got a chrome um, outer trim around the wheel, um, which might play a part in whether I'll change this color or not. But uh, I did have in mind red, and I think that actually looks okay. Even with the chrome outer, outer trim, I think that looks pretty sweet, so I'm going to go with red for the wheel colour. And to finish off the build as always, we're going to go into the windows and purchase the light smoke window tint. 
So you get my dudes as you pull out of LS Customs, you'll see this Dinka Blister Kanjo just looks awesome. I actually really, really like the way this looks and the way it's turned out. It looks so fucking cool, man. So different to everything else that we've got in the game as well, in my opinion. And we've got a Honda Civic, old school Honda Civic in the game. It just looks so good, man. Um, like I said, I'm not a massive fan of that camber, but on this sort of vehicle, it actually looks okay. It suits it quite nicely. And I like the fact that um, the sticker bomb design has been changed and it actually looks a lot better than the old design. I'm a little bit unsure about the wheels. Um, the colour is cool, but it's just the actual design of the wheels I'm a little bit unsure about. But nevertheless, it's just it's minor, to be honest. Um, but yeah, man, it just looks awesome. I'm so happy that they've released a car like this in the game. So much customization, which is awesome. It looks awesome anyway. Um, and at a really good price as well, $580,000 you can get your hands on this for when it was released officially into GTA. And I'm 100% going to be buying it once it's released into online. I've just noticed there's a little clipping issue there in the wheel, which is a bit of a shame. Um, but I suppose that is going to happen when you slam the vehicle and you do this to the wheels. So that is a little bit unfortunate. You'd think Rockstar would have um, made sure that didn't happen. But it does happen. Um, so that is a little bit unfortunate. Uh, but nevertheless, let's crack on with a little bit of a road test. And as you can see, it is front wheel drive. It is very um, torque happy. So there's a lot of torque because there's a lot of wheel spin on acceleration. It sounds awesome. It's got the same little flutter as what the what the Asbo's got when the you know when the turbo blows off and it goes and it flutters out. That sounds pretty awesome. The car itself sounds all right. You know, it sounds like you'd expect it to sound. Nothing spectacular. Uh, acceleration is pretty slow. It picks up pretty nicely though, um, but it's not fast by any means. It's not going to be breaking any sort of records because, again, it is only in the compacts class, so you can't really expect too much from it. Um, but for what it is, it's pretty quick. Acceleration's okay for what it is. Um, obviously, if you compare it to a supercar, it's going to be fucking dog slow, but um, for what it is, it's all right. Handling wise, it actually feels really nice. Um, you know, a little bit heavy uh, as you're pulling in, but it sticks to the ground, it doesn't spin out at all really but then it hasn't really got much power behind it to make a water spin out but it, yeah for what, it, for what it is for how much it is as well it's so cheap for a brand new DLC vehicle and I'm really happy with it man really happy with it the way it looks the way it sounds the customization obviously like I said the, the performance isn't you know spectacular but it is only a compact car so for it being a compact car I'm really happy with everything that it does and for the price spot on can't get any any better than this in GTA like value for money wise this is awesome um, so with that being said I think I'm going to end the video there hope you guys did enjoy if you did please smash that like button if you haven't already want to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this and until next time guys I'm out adios